All right. Well, hey, hello, everybody. For uh, Welcome to another Tech Tip Tuesday. This is a, a remote location tonight um, from Golden, Colorado. And I just happen to be uh, visiting some of the, um, let's call them the veterans of the Tech Tip Tuesday call. So Beth is joining me tonight. Say hello to Beth. Hey, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> so you normally see her in the audience at the Tech Tip Tuesday calls, but tonight um, she's here hanging out with me. I'm actually um, in her neck of the woods and we've had a great time of training about Healy. So, uh, so I said, hey, why don't you come on live with me? Let's just hang out for a minute. How does that sound? She's like, yeah, I'm in. So welcome everybody. Um, thank you guys for coming to our uh, Tech Tip Tuesday. Tuesday. If you're new here, let me tell you what we got going on. This is a chat-based forum where we will take the questions from the chat and bring them live. Um, and I've got uh, Freddie Perez here. Let's see, is Jake on us? On with us? I'm here. Yep, Jake is yeah. here. There he is. All right. And um, I'm doing this mobile remotely, so I can't see everybody that's here um, on the screen. So um, I'm on my mobile phone. So how much fun is that? You can do this work anywhere. I'm just saying that, okay? Just so everybody understands. Um, but anyway, what we're doing tonight is we are taking the chat, the questions from the chat. We're unpacking them. We are solving them. We are creating real-time um, answers for you guys. And we've got uh, Taylor in the background from the customer service department um, in the chat. Hello, everybody. Say hello to Taylor, everybody. Hey, Taylor. Um, and then uh, Taylor. First, <laughs> and we got Freddie Perez and we've got me and Beth is hanging out with us tonight. So um, <laughs> over here in Colorado. So let's have some fun. How about that? Let's do let's it. Go. Let's see here. Um, <laughs> Let's go right to the chat, guys. Oh, I want to just do a little disclaimer. Uh, I'm a, a member just like you guys. I bring my expertise, understanding, and, and experience to the table uh, to try to help unpack these questions. Um, what we can't do is we can't treat, diagnose, or prevent any kind of disease. We're not going to be talking about any of that kind of stuff. Uh, but we will be able to cover things around the blue dot, the pink dot. Um, and, um, you know, maybe we'll do deep dive into stuff if, uh, if we get bored. Uh, I'm not sure that'll ever happen. But, hey, let's give it a shot. <laughs> um okay what do we got i don't see anything yet but so actually wh while some questions are being put in there i want to something came up today that i wanted to sort of show on today's call so if you've watched any of our unboxings that we do we've done it a, a ton of times on healy for beginners and beyond and i usually start off the call i take out the healy and i said okay Here's how the Healy looks when it comes out of the box. It's got a, this blue plastic film on the outside, and then you can just peel it off. Some people don't realize it's a film, and then it starts bubbling, and they think there's something wrong with their Healy. Um, and I was talking with our tech support team in the office today, and they mentioned, actually, I think it was Taylor that mentioned it, that somebody um, sent in a ticket saying that they didn't have the blue film on their Healy when it arrived. It was sealed in the box, but it didn't have the film. And they thought that they got a used Healy. And so as I, as I mentioned on some of these other calls, we recently changed to um, a version that has a metal clip on the back. And that new version, there is no plastic film on the front when it comes to you. So again, I understand people, they said they watched it on, on YouTube and they said, they said it comes with a blue film, mine doesn't have it. So I certainly understand the confusion, but going forward, the newer Healy versions don't have any sort of blue film on it. So it's not a use. We, we never shipped a used device to anybody. Um, that's certainly not what we do. So just keep that in mind. And if you have anybody new joining the company and they, they may meant to make a comment, something like that, please just spread the word that it's not supposed to be on there anymore. Um, it was kind of a protective film. But if you notice the way that the, the Healy comes in the box, there's really no way for anything to get scratched because there's two booklets on top of it and then the box and then the shrink wrap. So um, it was kind of just an unnecessary thing. And it all really led to a lot of confusion a lot of times as far as what it is on there. So we just kind of eliminated it. So going forward, um, just keep that in mind that it won't be on there. <laughs> that's, that's the, uh, you know, we, we get so used to things. We get kind of yeah. stuck into a program of what should be and I mean, yeah. I, I can always observe the Healy itself and you can tell it's brand new, right? It's like no scratches, yeah. not, even, not even a blemish. It's shiny, it's pristine. So, but yeah, good, yeah. good so point. It's not going to be blue. It's going to be white, just like this one here on the other side, coming straight out of the box. So. 
<laughs> yeah, Jake, awesome. and Jake, you know, just to piggyback on that, uh, we received one of those new Heelys today. And that yeah. was one of the first thing I noticed. But I tell you what, it was my first time to hold one and what? see how awesome the new clip is. Wow, yeah. that's amazing. Yeah. yeah. Was it you, Freddie, that submitted the ticket asking where the blue film was? <laughs> I thought it was going to be a red film. That's the only reason I was asking. <laughs> yeah. No. All right. Well, it looks like we have a question in the in the chat, which is I, I love this question That's because question it's a great it. it's a great question. And and so here in, in, in talking about what happens. So when you're the question is about in within the resonance of the blue dot app when you're running um, a vibration, uh, running a program within the Healy. So in other words, you've you've done an analysis and you are now running something that it has to chosen. Um, and the, the ob observation is, is that the green light goes off. The, the, the Bluetooth light keeps flashing, but the green light goes off. So I love this question because it's, it's interesting, you know, well, what's going on? So if you'll notice when Healy is compiling uh, the content and the particular frequency series to run for you, when you hit the start, You'll see it either scrolling or you'll see it page by page uh, moving on your screen. And, uh, and of course you'll see the Bluetooth light flashing and the green light flashing and, uh, uh, and, and, it, and it's scrolling. So Healy is now transmitting um, information from the app uh, to the Healy and from the Healy back. So it's a two way stream it going on. It froze up a little there. Oh, oh can you hear me, me okay? Can, <laughs> How about now? No, we, can, we can hear you, Ken. You're good. Okay. So, so there's this two-way communications going on uh, between the app and the Healy. And uh, when it gets into a rhythm, it's going to run this in a continuous rhythm. The green light simply means that there's data being transferred between the hardware of the Healy and the app. Okay. That's what the green light flashings mean. At first, there's a lot of content being transmitted. So you'll see a fairly uh, regular rhythmic flash of the green light. But when it's not transmitting data, in other words, it, it's already um, has enough information to do its work. Um, it's just, you're just gonna see the transmission on the Bluetooth light, that's gonna be still happening, but there's no content being shared right now at the moment. But you'll see, it'll do that for a while and then the green light will flash again. And that will be meaning that content uh, is being moved between the Healy and the app, okay? So it's still working, don't worry, it's still working. Does that make sense? Anything you want to add there, Freddie? No, excellent Beth, explanation. Beth was just telling me that they, they experienced that today when they were like running their thing and it, you know, there's a green light goes off. So that question came up with them too. So I love it. Perfect timing. Always. Yeah, no, I, I love that too. You know, what that truly means is that people are being uh, very cognizant of what's actually going on when they're running their Healy, right? So these great questions that come in, that's a true indicator. Thank you so much for putting that question in there. Right on. All right. Uh, anything else, guys? You know, I had, uh, while we're getting some more questions, I, I had this, this, this weekend, or well, this Monday, yesterday, we had some great training. We were talking about, um, you know, some of the brilliance around Healy and, um, and really where it's interacting or interfacing with us as, as the client or the participant within the modality. Um, it's, it's, we, are, we are this electric body, right? And people just look at, in the mirror and they see flesh and bones and parts and, and forget about this nervous system that we have that's connected and interfacing with every cell in our body. And we're literally an, an electric body. And so we're, when we're running the microcurrent, we're speaking at the electron level. We're, and, and I mean, I mean, this is the, the, the basic level from the quantum field. Because we talk about cells quite often, cell membrane voltage. We talk about ATP production. We talk about some of the benefits of the microcurrent. But we're forgetting something. Each cell has millions of electrons within it, right? So there's, that's the level in which Healy's actually interfacing. <laughs> So yeah, we're working with the, with, with the uh, cell itself, but it's even deeper than that. Um, that's where it's interfacing with the quantum field. And uh, we were really unpacking that. And uh, I just love speaking about that because that's the brilliance of how Healy interfaces and works with us. 
So kudos, Healy. You know, Lon brought up a question that uh, brought back a, a real sweet memory. He's, asked, he's saying, actually, someone said that people should take one day out of seven not to use the Healy. And I remember over two years ago, we asked that question. And the answer was yes. Take that seventh day, if you will. Get yourself grounded. If you're close to a beach, go walk barefoot in the sand. If you're not, just walk barefoot around, you know, in your own yard. But just get grounded. Let your body, um, what am I thinking here, Ken, where rejuvenate almost, right? Get back yep. to, yep. yeah. So yep. great question, Lon. Thanks for putting it out there. And another part of the it's subject matter we were talking about today total huh? synchronicity it's uh everything that we're talking about right now we've we've just had that come up um all day yesterday and we were talking about it at lunch it's just uh these are like the basics and it's so so good to have that reminder but with the grounding ken we were talking at lunch today um the you know the self-care protocol as ken calls it um your hydration your movement your grounding and you know those are all important actually after like each, we were, each after program each program each program um, so yeah. important to kind of it's like brings the the healy um frequencies that you're running with the microcurrent it brings that full circle mm -hmm. um and really kind of and gives you that that completion yeah mm. yeah we were talking about that today exactly and so so let's all write this down in terms of self-care protocol because i really want this to hit home um we number one that's really super important is our hydration right the hydration of our body is really really critical and the formula for that and we've talked about it many times uh, is half your body weight in ounces of water per day, right? And if you're in a hot, dry climate, climate like where I'm at right now, it's even more. Uh, so the next thing is movement, moving the body. The, the lymphatic system of our body is probably one of the most, uh, it's, it has more uh, of uh, influence on your detox uh, and that movement of, of proper chemistry uh, than anything else. And movement, like your heart, moves the blood, but your muscular contractions and movement um, pump the lymphatic system around. And number three is grounding, right? Grounding being that, that, that really getting into the earth. Now there are meditative practices in which you can engage in that will actually um, bring you. I'm gonna have to change audio here for a second. Hold on just a minute, sorry. I'm gonna have to, All right. Can you still hear me? Yeah, you're coming in actually clearer. Okay, you can hear me better? Yes, sir. Thank you. Okay. All right, good. I didn't want to lose you guys. Okay. Um, so the the grounding part, there are ways, of course, like, like Freddie said, you know, ultimately, who wouldn't want to go on a beach? Because that two things are happening there, the grounding within the sand, but also the, uh, the ionization of the air the, because of the ocean, because of the sea uh, is another huge factor. Um, so, any, but anywhere where you're actually connected to dirt or the earth, grass or something barefoot, folks. Now, remember, if you're wearing um, galoshes and uh, full parka and you're not touching any skin to the ground, then you're not doing much good. You really got to get some skin contact. Um, and, but there's a meditative practice in which you, in your mind, can actually draw the roots of your body into the earth um, and work in that respect, too. I, uh, it's more effective to be on the earth and actually ground within that. So those three modalities in your self-care pro protocol, remember hydration, movement, and um, grounding. So thanks guys for that. I think it helps bring all the senses in together too. And you really, what we were talking about yesterday, yesterday a lot was um getting into the actual feeling like it's one thing to do one part of something and and but when we can wrap all these things together and actually you know the healy helps us to raise that frequency and raise that vibration so that we can actually embody that whole the whole thing like mm -hmm. we're not just surface level um we're just trying to get every cell on the body to really experience that themselves so all of those things help so much right on Let's see. We got another question in there. Thanks, Taylor. Man, look at you're just rocking it back there. <laughs> Yay. Anything else, guys? So I, I had to drop out philosophy. there. Say that again, I, Jake. I said I had, I had to drop out there for a minute. My connections for some reason on Zoom is a little off, off today. But um can you hear me okay? 
Yeah, I hear so you. must be all the planets aligning today. Yeah, yeah exactly. No, I was when I dropped off. You were mentioning about the the um, how you know to take a, a one day off as far as you know throughout the week. And I know Ken, you also talk a lot about not overdoing it, um, giving your body sort of time to recover. And I think a lot of times the question comes up too because you know people see the recommendation of okay, maybe you can run. Um, a Healy Pink Dot app program or programs like three to four per day as a general sort of recommendation. Of course, everyone's different, but a lot of people say, okay, well, I'm going to get up in the morning and run three programs in a row and get, get them out of the way. And that's, that's not what it's intended to be, you know, as, as far as spacing them out sort of throughout the day. And that's also one of the reasons why the, the Heal Advisor app has a reminder in the morning, afternoon, and evening, not all three in the morning, you know? So, it's it's not a okay. Let me get my pink dot app programs out of the way in the morning, and then I can focus on other things in the afternoon. You're not going to get um, as good of results doing that, and you can actually overdo it. Um, yeah. And you know, you, it's it's Ken. What, what would you say about spacing out everything? Yeah. So we 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 talked about this. In fact, we've covered this on Tech Tip Tuesday before about um, taking a day off. I think it's important to take a day off. Um, there's a there's a concept called hedonic calendaring, which in, in which you spend time removing pretty much all the modalities that you do just to give your body an opportunity to find out, you know, what's most effective. You know, interestingly enough, we really don't know what we're missing until we stop doing something, right? I mean, how many of you guys have ran out of some of your favorite things that you do every day and you all of a sudden, you know, you can feel it, right? It's a difference in your body. So, so yeah, absolutely taking a day off. Um, there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, I, I don't believe that we need to be connected to Healy all day, every day. I mean, we have the job of healing ourselves. You got to give your body that opportunity. And certainly at least an hour, at least an hour between each program, because the self-care protocol, the, uh, the hydration, you know, you're drinking all the time. The movement should be a 20 minute activity, 20 minutes. So this movement is either it's, it's stretching, it's yoga, it's dance, it's some kind of long full body movements, but it's, you should spend 20 minutes, 15, 20 minutes doing that. Same thing with grounding, 15 to 20 minutes. So if you're doing it after your program, that's already setting aside 40 minutes anyway. So, but I say that you should elongate that to an hour. Um, I'm always gonna tell you also is to listen to your body. I know uh, Beth was telling me about someone who, kind of overused the Healy and was, was kind of in a bad place for a while. You know, the body's detoxing, it's changing, it's, it's rebuilding. I mean, how many of you guys have done an awesome workout and you got these sore muscles and stuff, right? So you got to give it time to rebuild. And this is what Healy's doing. It's working as a rebuild at the fundamental level of the cell. So it just makes sense to give yourself a pause or recovery protocol. Yeah. And even when you look at some of the, the newer things like the natural cycle, if you watched any of the training videos and the guides, you notice most people are waiting to start the natural cycle in May when um, the, the trigger date is. But you notice the guidelines are to run those particular programs twice per week. It's not every day. It's not three times per day. Uh, there's a they're spaced out um, throughout the week. So um, it kind of goes in line with what you were just discussing there. Yeah, right on. Um, so Jake, I see a question in here. I think it's probably, uh, best for you to address comes in from, uh, Janine and it, uh, when is chat support going to be coming about? <laughs> well, you know, that, that is definitely in, in our longer term plans. And we're, we're starting to look at, um, some of the systems and things that we can integrate into our, our shop and our back office. Um, uh, so it, I can't give you any sort of date, but I, we do know that it, it is needed and it is a as a priority, and we're we're looking for the best solution um, right now. So, perfect, awesome. So, um, any of you guys that are on here live, um, do me a favor and jot down the invite link. Uh, and the way to do that is you just click on the participants and there's an invite tab right there. Click on that invite tab. You can jot down that link or copy and paste it. Send it to somebody, send it to somebody. I mean, I, we have uh, just in the Telegram group, we have over 8,000 people in that group, right? And uh, on WhatsApp Wednesdays, you know, we get maybe uh, what, 150, 160 people. 
Um, and then we've got about 31 on here tonight. So I'm sure that there are people out there with questions um, that aren't being answered. So I just want everyone to share what's available in terms of tools and, uh, and let's get on here live and, and really take care of this stuff. Yeah, I, I always like, uh, that's a great point. Whenever someone joins this call for the first time, <laughs> the comments at the end are like, I can't believe I didn't know about this call, you know, and this <laughs> all the time. So I know, yeah, I I know. Mean, if, if don't assume someone knows about it, if you have people on your team, your group, whoever, um, just send everyone a, a, a reminder that every Tuesday at 8 p.m. Eastern, we're, we're here to help. So. Yeah, I love it. And, you know, if there's no questions, that's okay. We'll take the evening off, you know. I'm going to go out and do a hike. I'm going to go enjoy Boulder a little bit more. <laughs> I mean, uh, cold in Colorado. So, hey, it's beautiful here. I mean, today, what is it, like 70 degrees or something? I mean, oh, wow. I know for, for you, Jake, that's like nothing, right? Florida is like nothing. But for me, I'm 70, coming out of yeah. Washington. was in the 30s. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm loving yeah, it. Yeah, we can tell you got a little sun over there, Ken. You're looking handsome. I got a little pink going on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> But listen, going back to that last little comment about sharing with folks, and some folks may not know, I had yesterday, uh, was helping someone, and uh, they've had their Healy, been with the company over a year and a half. They never heard of Tech Tip Tuesday. They didn't even know we were doing this. And when I shared it with them, they were like, so can I come or do I have a special invitation? Oh, you got a special invitation every Tuesday. Come on out and uh, get on the telegram room and you know, get your link. And she goes, there's a telegram room. So, yes, folks, the point is very valid. There's a lot of folks that have been with the company for a while. They still don't know that we have these awesome resources for them to tap into. And here, my goodness, being able to type in a question and get it answered live. That's powerful, powerful stuff. Yeah, how, how many people are, have been asking for a phone line? I just want to call customer service, and we got a live thing right here, right? That we, we, we're working on that. I'm sure you know. Just give give the company time to evolve, and then you know we'll have this other other stuff. But um, I see in the comments that apparently the link that's posted uh, uh, isn't working. Maybe that's in the in the back office or something. But the link on the Telegram page does work. In fact, it, I'll tell you. So I'm an engineer. I post that stuff on the Telegram group, and then I actually enter the call from the link on the Telegram group to make sure it works. So nobody can say what's well, posted on the Telegram group doesn't work. I know I test it. <laughs> I've tested it. Now, I don't know what's going on with the other link for this person that commented. Um, uh, well, you're here, but uh, I'm sorry to say, I don't know what happened. Maybe if it's something to do with your browser um, or if, um, I don't know, that's the same link every week. So, yeah. Okay. No, the Telegram um, group is Team Healy USA. Say there. that again, guys. The, the Telegram group. Someone was asking what the name of the group. Oh, so, yeah. So um, somebody put the link in the, in the chat. Can you guys put that link in the chat? Because it's, it's Team Healy USA. That's the name of the group. Um, and uh, I mean, one thing I want you guys to understand about the Telegram group, we're very, very cautious or very, very protective, I should say, over that group. Um, for spammers or, you know, or any kind of uh, trollers or people looking for um, names. So we require that you have a full name as your identification when you at, go into that particular group. Um, because if you just have a handle of some sort, like, or numbers, like, you know, one, two, three, or, or, or some handle, it's not a name that we don't recognize, we'll, we're going to delete it. We're going to take that person out. Um, because we, we don't want to run the risk of someone taking advantage of our group. Okay. So, so just know that's going to happen. Um, the, the rules to the, to the group, if you just post, uh, or you just search in there about, um, uh, rules, you'll see it. Uh, and so anyway, uh, as well as all the links are posted in there. If you go to telegram, if you guys are new to telegram, uh, if you click on the banner at the top, if you're doing it from your mobile device, you clip on, click on the banner at the top, a search opportunity opens a search window and you're able to type something in there and you'll be able to search. If you search tech tip Tuesday, you're going to find all the links and all the, anything that we've posted there. Um, if you're on your computer and at the top of the screen, there's already a little search icon. So you can search for things. That's a very handy tool. If you're not familiar with how that works. So um, I see that you guys put the, 
the links in there. And uh, there was also a comment about this going to over every other week or something like that. Tech Tip Tuesday uh, is every Tuesday. I mean, every Tuesday. Mm -hmm. I've only missed, well, technically I've missed two Tuesdays, but technically <laughs> only one Tech Tip. So we did it on a Thursday, right? Last yeah. week. So I was like, I'm going to count that as a not, uh, as a, as a, as a present, not an absent. So, um, but anyway, we're here all the time and uh, it's going to be every Tuesday. The Healy for Beginners and Beyond, um, there's recordings of all that amazing content. And like Jake was saying, that's kind of an unba unboxing thing. So when something new comes around then, or, or maybe there's questions about something and want to refresh that call, then a new call is born and then that recording is posted. So, um, I didn't see in the comments. Did anybody post the, the YouTube page? Because there's a YouTube page, Healy, um, Healy World Americas. Healy, Americas. Mm -hmm. Healy World Americas. Yep. That's the YouTube page. And uh, all the recordings are there, including this one. So this is going to be posted too. So you guys can review this content. Yep. So this is our, most people on this call have seen this, but this is our YouTube page. Um, HealyAmericas.com. You can also go straight to YouTube um, and go to Healy World Americas. And you'll, we're, the word is getting out there. We had almost a thousand subscribers now on this page. So um, that's certainly um, helpful. But also we've added some new features. There's a new playlist here. If you haven't been here recently, Support Center Basics, where you can actually, we, we're going to keep adding to this, but you can how to reply to a support ticket, how to create a support ticket. That's a new little playlist that we're gonna add to as we go. And as Ken mentioned, all of our prior tech tip calls are on here. Our What's Up Wednesdays are on here as well, Healy for Beginners and Beyond. And you can just go through, um, look at everything. And then you can also just, as, as we've kind of mentioned a, a few times, you can go through and go to show more and then all the, the, the content from the call is sort of hyperlinked here. So you can go straight to certain things. If you want to find out something that catches your attention, and you want to have, um, you know, uh, uh, sort of tips on, you can just click on the, the hyperlink and it'll take you straight to that part of the call um, where, where we discussed it. So it's, it's super convenient, uh, definitely. Uh, again, this is something in addition to this, the link for this call, the Tech Tip Tuesday call, this is something that we want um, to share with everybody as well, because it's, it's a tremendous resource. And you can search for everything throughout this call as well, just from with, it'll search directly from our Healy World Americas page. Um, if you click this little icon here and just click the search, um, it'll search within our channel here, not just YouTube in general too. So definitely check that out if you have not already. And um, subscribe if you haven't already as well, and make sure you click the little reminder bell next to it so you get a, a pop-up notification anytime we add a new video to this page as well. So, Yeah, you know, and I want to remind everybody too, so when you search in YouTube versus searching on Google, that's two different search engines, so you won't find it necessarily. I mean, you may, but uh, you probably, you may not find it when you search on Google for, say, Tech Tip Tuesday or Healy for Beginners and Beyond or something like that. So it's important to actually go to YouTube and, uh, and do that, okay? Does that make sense? Yes, sir. All right. So, you know, um, what, what I'm doing here in Golden, just to tell you, or in Colorado in general, um, is, is creating connections, um, really going out and interfacing now with people um, about Healy and our teams and, and kind of re-engaging people. Again, I, talk, I said something about how many people are on Telegram group, 8,000, 8, over 8,000. And we're just not getting the representation on the weekly calls. And yet we're still getting con um, questions and comments every week and, and customer service is still getting a ton of tickets. So, so the engagement is just not happening very well. Um, and we were kind of talking about that. And Beth was uh, talking about that engagement. What were you 
talking about that. So what we did yesterday, you know, you kind of just think outside the box a lot, but really, you know, we are purposely and intentionally trying to create this community and raise the consciousness and raise our vibration and frequency. And, uh, you know, so we, we've been just going places and I encourage everybody in the field, um, you know, we're all in this together in the field and we can answer a lot of these questions. Um, sometimes people feel comfortable coming on these calls and they get their questions answered, but it's been a really positive uh, past, you know, 24 36 hours mm -hmm. of actually being in person and being like you know what like I was afraid to ask this about or what does this button or you know so we've been solving and um just throwing a lot of discussion out there and I encourage you guys to do that as well you know find find your Healy partner in your town or or who signed you up and enrolled you and, and be like let's get people into this let's let's welcome people um on board or let's just meet up up and and have a cup of tea or coffee and use the Healy together yeah. um and we can because it's amazing what kind of discussion opens um just when you're with somebody um and so we can have that great opportunity here online in our online community but then when you also do that live in person um it's really good so you know if you're thinking about that i encourage you guys to um just reach out reach out and ask people you know ask people for help ask people to get together and um just it helps you learn more and you learn by experience as well excellent great advice right guys absolutely all right how many of you guys have, have when when somebody asks a question it stimulates a question in your mind right you get this answer but then it opens up to a deeper level of questioning right it's like oh my god i didn't know it could do that so how can i expand on that so this is those kind of conversations that i'm talking about so hopefully that stimulates some thought there guys Let's see what else we got. Thanks for putting those links in there, everybody. And by the way, um, I want you to remember that if you're on your computer and you're watching this um, over there in the participants area where you could you have you see all the people that are on the call um, at the bottom right, there's three little dots. You can click on that. You can save the chat to your computer. You click on that little three little dots. It'll give you an option to save the chat. Those links will be in there. You know any questions and answers that are in there from our the tech support team so super valuable stuff right all right how about turning on the blue light or the bluetooth light off and on making sure the healy works that was a good one how many of you guys um the the ha, have seen that new feature um at the top of the screen it's not new i mean it's it's been around for a bit but the feature at the top of the screen where you've got that little green button that says on and off at the top, that's the that's the how you actually turn the Bluetooth off within the app. You guys familiar with that? So yeah. Yeah. that function um, in the app, and now this is for um, firmware uh, 229 and above. 229. Well, that's there's no above, but <laughs> for um, version 229 or firmware version 229, and you can find out what your firmware version 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 is in your uh, pink dot app you can go to uh, the little three bars at the top left of the screen affectionately known as the hamburger freddie says uh, <laughs> and you scroll down to information click on information and it'll show you your firmware version on your healy hardware it'll also show you your software version that you're operating within your pink dot but that'll tell you so firmware version 229 um, has the opportunity for turning the Bluetooth off manually within the app, okay? But I want you to understand something. So it's great, you know, you want to turn the Bluetooth off. Um, that's great. But remember, it's going to, the app is going to stop monitoring uh, the activities of Healy. So in other words, you're not going to see the frequencies pop up on the top of the screen. You're not going to see um, the progress anymore. In fact, it'll, it'll turn the app kind of back into the beginning phase, you know, when you're um, looking for Healy. It'll just, it'll turn it off. So, um, and that, and you don't just simply go and open the app. It's not an exact same way of turning the Bluetooth back on. Um, some folks have forgotten that they turn that Bluetooth off by switching that little switch at the top of the app. And then they go back after their program's done, maybe an hour or two later, and they go, I want to run a new program and they can't connect to the Healy. And they're like, what's wrong with the Healy? There's nothing wrong with it. You've just simply physically turned off the seek that's seek, like the seeking for a signal, you've turned off the seek function in the Healy hardware. So it will no longer look for a Bluetooth signal. So you have to actually press the power button 
two quick presses. One, two, and then turn it on. That'll reset that um, Bluetooth deactivation function and it'll turn it back on. Okay, so make sure you understand that. Does that make sense? Anything you want to add to that, Freddie? Have you had people can't figure out how to turn it back on later? Uh, yeah, but you pretty much covered all the bases there. But yeah, no, that's uh, really the simple way to approach it. Yeah. yeah. All right. You got anything else in there, Jake? Sorry, I was muted. Um, there is a question earlier on I wanted to mention. It was someone that was having trouble buying from using their link last week. And they had a question if it matters if they're using a laptop or a mobile phone. She was advised to use an incognito browser and wasn't sure what that was. So that incognito browser is basically uh, something that it doesn't store any cookies. It's like a fresh, uh, a fresh browser experience. Um, as well. So anything you went to prior, if you went to Healy's website and it stored cookies and you want to make sure it's a clean sort of session, you can go there um, and set up. It, it, it's sort of recommended if you're having issues getting links to work or logging in, it's always worth to try an incognito or a private browser window, depending on what, what browser you're using. But um, something to remember, if they were having trouble buying using your link, um, just make sure that if you're using one of our old referral links, um, back in begin, it was either December or January, um, you're no longer supposed to be using at that when we switched to the 12 digit code, um, there was a workaround where you could replace the 12 digit code with your username. Um, and you can send that link. So instead of when someone comes to a page, your username would pop up, you are referred, please confirm you were referred by this person um, instead of the code. And that worked for a while, but um, that that actually can cause issues during the enrollment process or how the visibility of certain things. So um, if, if you are using a link with your username at the end, I would recommend that you definitely um, switch back to using the, the referral link that's actually posted in your in your back office and the referral link section, um, which has the code at the end. But also keep in mind that there is a feature coming where we when you go to your referral link, when you send it to somebody, your name actually will pop up. Uh, we're working on the consent form right now um, to where you'll, you'll be able to, people will be able to see your name when you go to your site um, as well. So that's, that's in the works, but um, it could be something like that, but incognito is something simple to use. It's usually the, the settings, the top right of your browser, just um, click that and then they can post the referral link into an incognito browser and, you know, if, guaranteed any prevent any sort of issues that they might have been having before but. yeah on your on your mobile device that's a kind of a different scenario right because yeah. if you're, on, you're using safari if you're on your iphone and that is basically you're not going to change browsers there um, no but you could you can use you a, can a private window in safari so um yeah. that, that is an option as well it's when you when you go to open a new tab um if you click on that you can actually do a regular tab or you can click the private one that'll it's kind of the incognito equivalent in safari so um, yeah yeah i like i like enrolling people i mean it's convenient to be mobile uh we're doing this mobile i'm in a whole nother tab but it's <laughs> it's really i prefer to use a computer when we're doing it just because it's bigger you know yeah all right do we got any other new questions there freddie yeah. Yeah, I was uh, looking through here. Um, this one was a question that was about uh, the bot flower and the Schuster salts no longer have the names in the database. They only have the symptoms. They used to have the names. I'm not familiar with just having okay. the, uh, the symptoms there. If they're talking about you're looking at the database within the blue dot, so you you know, and and at the far right side of the screen when you're when you're viewing one of those databases, there's a a little icon that you can click on for more information to find out what what each individual um, remedies are are in that database. That's still there. There were never any solutions or cures there. It was only just content of uh, a particular remedy. So. Um, yeah, that's that's not in the blue dot. Yeah. 
Can, okay. can I clarify it? So like creative homeopathy and the Alaskan gems and the, I, I can't remember which other one, um, those all still, when you hit that little information button in, to get into the database, those still show the flowers or the gems or whatever. But the Schusler and the Bach, what that used to, if you hit that little information button, would show those remedies or those substances. Um, and now those substances are gone. You only get the substances when you actually do a scan. But then there's no way. So if you go in on the database and hit the little eyes on those two only, it just lists um, the, I guess the 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 exit the status, not status, your existing status or your present status. Um, it, so it 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 doesn't. You can't go in and see what those those substances are until you scan. D does that make sense? But it used to be that way. That should still give you, uh, I mean, we, I can't really pull up my screen to show you. Um, Jake, do you, are you able to show, pull up that database from your perspective and show it's still there? I'm not um, connected right now. We can, we can, I'll see if I, well, <laughs> if I can, still, if not. There's, after each one of those databases, you've got a little number that's in gray. Um, that gives you, you know, the number of individual um, uh, modalities that are individual elixirs or, or, or stones, crystals, um, or, or whatever, the number of entities within that database. So, um, so yeah, it should still be, I was just actually in, uh, I was just actually in one of those, the, the, gym elixirs and they were all there you know individual all those were there so they you know, all we'll, say we'll take we'll, we'll take a look and then i don't know maybe if taylor has any information on that as well maybe we can um look at that but we'll we'll see if we can get some more information on that thank you sure okay so there was a question earlier i think it all looks like taylor already answered there was someone that was asking that her and her friend or the person and their friend each purchase a new professional and she has access to natural cycle but i don't do you want to know if she should contact customer service so the natural cycle isn't included in the the professional edition that's a separate module or or add-on program so i i don't i can't really answer the question of why maybe someone Maybe she purchased it using the, the discount code that was available earlier or, or had it added on, but um, it's not a normal part of the, the new professional edition. So um, uh, a little clarity. So we're actually in the background here taking a look at the Blue Dot app and, uh -huh. um, and viewing the database of uh, the salts. Right? Is that that one? Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, the Schusler's salts, and if you click on, we're we're taking a peek at that, and um, there's actually it gives the individual, um, if you want to call them, um, I don't know if you want to call it solutions uh -huh. or recommendations. And then so, on the gem elixirs, I don't know if they can. Yeah, we won't. We're we're not able to share our screen, but the gem elixirs show to press the information. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So within within those gym elixirs, there are the individual uh, names of the um, of those. I don't know if you can see them, but anyway, they're there. So I'm not sure what's specifically missing. What would be best is take some screenshots, you know. And if you think there's something missing, maybe um, create a CS ticket and let's take a look. Yeah. Okay. So. Interesting question here uh, from Alice. She said, swiping up to hard close the app is a challenge. And she asked, will turning off my phone instead close the Healy? Or I guess stop the program from running. So I guess 
but this is a question where it depends on what, what program you're running, because if you're running something in the Analyze app, which requires that constant connection, if you turn off your phone, it's, no longer, it's not gonna to continue to run. But if you're running a program in say like the Healy Pink Dot app, and say you disconnect from Bluetooth or turn off your phone, at that point, would that program continue to finish um, running? I guess is I'm not sure if that's what she was asking, but you know, would, would turning off the phone have the same effect as hard closing the app, basically? Um, it does. Um, if you turn the phone off, it resets all those things and you turn it back on. Um, basically, yeah. So hard closing an app, uh, and, and I'm going to go right back to what I always advise. YouTube has a video for that. <laughs> so um, it's, it is actually extremely simple um, on these devices today to hard close an app. So go and take a peek at the, uh, on YouTube and, and look, look up how to hard close an app on Android whatever version or iPhone whatever version. And you'll see that there's videos, probably several, give you some techniques. And I know like on the newer iPhones, you have to swipe up and then over. There's just some things that seem to be difficult. Um, hard closing works, is, that's fine. Um, the Remember that, like we mentioned earlier, there's a real-time connection between the Blue Dot um, app and the Healy. Any interruptions of that will, will mess it up. Um, but even if you heart, if you turn your phone off There's and you're running a uh, pink dot program, you're running the microcurrent pink dot program. Even if you turn your phone off, you'll notice that the Healy green light still flashing. The Bluetooth light is not, hot, but the green light is. That's because that program is still running for whatever duration the uh, is still left on the program when you turn your phone off. So it's still running, and when you turn your phone back on and re-engage the app, it's going to go and and catch right back up to wherever the Healy is in the current process of the program. So um, hopefully that clears things up. <laughs> and even if the program has stopped running, right, because it was basically temporarily loaded up on the Healy device, when you open that pink dot up, it may open right back up to that app, even though it's concluded. It could open right back up, not to the app, I'm sorry, to that program. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So I want you to also understand when you turn your Healy on, when you first turn your Healy on and the, the green light starts flashing, uh, within 45 seconds, I think it's 45 seconds, um, the Healy will start running the last program that was loaded to, let's call it the hard drive of the Healy. It will start running that last program automatically. So uh, if you don't turn your phone on, it's going to start running it automatically. It's going to go to the 15% default intensity setting, um, but it's still going to start running. Okay. Anything else, guys? We've got about 12 minutes left. Well, I want to thank you guys for being job. on here, by the way. You know, Freddie, Jake, uh, Taylor. Um, this is, uh, it's great having a, having a team fielding this and thanks Beth for hanging out with us here for today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I, th I think it, the, the hard close part, because a lot of times if your app wasn't closed properly, specifically the pink dot app, if you're going to something, you may, you may notice that you go back into it and it kind of keeps looping to the page that you were on last or the program you were on last. And so you go back to the menu and you click something, a gold cycle program, click pure, but it doesn't go to pure. It goes back to sort of the page you were at before. Uh, maybe you'll see like a circle that's sort of partially um, with a little red dot sort of around it on the, the main menu where all the little icons are. Um, and if that, if that happens, that's definitely a case where you need to halt, fully close, hard close that app and then go back into it um, for it to you be able to kind of select any of the, the programs different from what you were running before. So. Yep. Okay, so there's, there's always a process folks. Um, when, when you continuously have an issue, um, there's a process of connecting to the Healy. There's a timing sequence, all right? <clears throat> you can't open the app first, just get in the habit. 
You cannot open the app first. Okay, there's, here you go. I was just write this down. Ken's rule. It's not my rule, but I'm just going to just write it down. Do not open the app first. <laughs> Turn the Helion first. Okay. Then open the app in every single case. And it doesn't matter if you're using the pink dot app and you decide to shift over to the blue dot app. All right. Make sure the Healy is on. When you shift out of the pink dot app and move over to the blue dot app and you close hard close the pink dot app, then you'll see the Bluetooth light go off on the Healy. That means that um, it's no longer connected to the app, but the green light will still be on. So that's still on. So that qualifies. Remember what I said, Healy's on first, app on second, nobody's on third, all right? Well, who cares on third? We're just talking about first and second. All right, so there's another phenomenon I want you to understand that happens. When you are running, say, uh, a blue dot um, function. You know, you've done an analysis or you've run a, a program, a sequence, whatever. And you close that app and you open the pink dot app. The Bluetooth light will, will go off momentarily, but it goes into standby mode for a minute, right? Um, if you have both apps open at the same time, it's not going to find the pink dot. All right. So you really have to hard close that blue dot. You have to force close it, or you're going to have a really hard time connecting to the pink dot app. All right, so, so just keep in mind, the best scenario is hard close all your apps. Folks, I'm just saying, please, I'm going to stress this a lot, because these, the, the Healy is resource hungry. Don't be worrying about your emails. You know, Stop doing your texting. Um, quit shopping on the shopping network, whatever it is hard close all of those other apps so that you can give Healy its full resource. Okay. Uh, and then just use those apps. All right, guys, what else we got? Eight more minutes. Okay, so, so there, there is a the digital nutrition nutrition question. Are you pulling that yeah, one? Yeah, I was looking at that one. They were asking if it's the same guidelines for those programs when running in the the pink dot app as any of the other ones. And you know, they're they're using well, it depends on how you're using. If you're using them with the coil or not, but if you're using microcurrent as well, it would be the same same guidelines for them. I know some of those programs are a little bit shorter, but in general, you would, you would want to do the same thing as far as spacing those out. Absolutely. Th these, these self-care protocols are, they're up, they apply to just put it in, their, in our minds. It applies to microcurrent programs. It doesn't matter what the page is or the category. Still recommendations, no more than three of those a day and mm -hmm. space them out by an hour and increase your um, self-care protocol in each, each occasion, we're working, we're, let, let me put it this way. When we engage the body with microcurrent, we're working the body. We're, we're not just working it like, you know, you're out gardening or you're working out in the gym. No, you're working the body on the electric body. You're working it out. And so you really need to give it the grace uh, and the patience uh, and the, uh, the empathy <laughs> to give it some healing. Right. So, so just, I, I know, I, I know you want to overcome whatever suffering or condition, or you want to upregulate whatever's going on, but um, be patient, right? Or yeah. So I mean, that, that's an interesting question because, of course, of course, we're referring to microcurrent, but you know, we do have the the handy coil available as well, which isn't using microcurrent. So in that case, you know. I know that it's kind of a mixed, a mixed um, guidelines on that, but you're not, you're not administering, you know, microcurrent to your body um, when using the coil. And a lot of times people I know are using the coil throughout the day um, as well, or in between or mixed in with the you know, vibrating programs in the, the analyze app as well. So um, it, it's definitely a little bit different. Um, it's, you know, the, the benefits and everything are, are different, but when you're referring specifically to microcurrent, you want to stick to that, you know, three to four day, um, recommendation. So the, I'd like to add to that too. Yeah. And that's, that's good content. Um, the coil, 
what's the coil doing specifically? It's it is sending out a magnetic signal that is inducing current flow in your nervous system. Just like when a, a radio transmitter, a radio station transmitter that's somewhere in your proximity that's got this huge antenna and it's sending out a radio signal that's magnetic, it's going across the, across your demographic and it's propagating current flow into the antenna of your car and then the contents being decoded by your radio. This is the same thing that's happening in the human body. The phenomena, the, the, the principles are exactly the same. So magnetic energy then induces a current flow in the nervous system, in the tissues of the body. So microcurrent is, do, is, is creating current flow in the tissues and the cells of the body, in the nervous system. The, cur- the coil is doing similar thing in a little bit more subtle modality. So can you overload on the, on the coil and feel the symptoms of maybe detox or, or, or any of the side effects? Yes, yes. So listen to your body. Just hear me for a minute. Listen to your body. <laughs> this is really important that we do um, and, and give yourself time. Still, I stay with the same protocol. Spread it out by an hour. Make sure your, your um, self-care is, is intact um, and test it. I mean, I'm not saying don't, don't be the experiment. Test it. Push the limit. Journal it. Journal it. I like that. Yeah, journal it. Mm-hmm. All right. What else we got? Do we have a win? Somebody said, uh, let's see. I like it, by the way, when you talk about, hey, it worked. <laughs> Whatever I, you said, it worked. <laughs> let's see. All right. What else we got, guys? Taylor's making our life easy. <laughs> yes. yes. Thank, you, thank Taylor. you, Taylor. Big kudos to you. <laughs> and the interaction from the other members too. That's beautiful. Yeah, we got, we got all kinds of help. See what happens. You start <laughs> asking questions, getting together, man, it stimulates creativity, genius. Mm-hmm. It creates genius. <laughs> it's contagious. <laughs> All right, just a few minutes here. Any last questions? Scroll back up. What are some symptoms of overload? Love it. All right, what are some symptoms of overload? Okay, if you guys work out too much, what happens to the body? If you haven't got a proper uh, recovery, you lose energy right? You're tired, worn out, right? You feel discomfort, maybe soreness, stiffness, that kind of stuff, right? Um, Maybe even a little bit of, if you've depleted a lot of your energy with that workout, maybe a little bit of um, of, uh, dizziness or even um, forgetfulness, lightheadedness, things like that. I mean, we're talking uh, cognitive things that can be involved. So when we're working with the nervous system, we're, we're not. We're also working with emotions, working with energy centers, chakras in the body. We're working with things that are um, are, are pretty engaged in the body. So some of the overload are going to be how you feel. You feel all of a sudden one day. Think about this. You've been running a lot of mental balance, right? From or or for, or things from the learning page, and at the end of the day, you just feel just brain dead. Right. Or you just feel emotional. Right. You feel just sad for no reason or, or you know, or just some interesting issue. Um, pay attention. And as, as Beth said, journal this, write it down. And so you can remember and keep track. You know, I ran this many programs. I ran these programs. And at the end of the day, I felt white. OK, change that equation and write down your results. OK, so this is the key. Some of the things that are overload are going to be symptomatic, such as detox symptoms. This, this, this system is to help clean your body out. Um, it's helping to realign misalignments. Okay, so what is a detox symptom? Have you ever had a deep tissue massage or you're running some kind of a uh, uh, intermittent fasting protocol? Headaches, number one symptom for a deep tissue massage is, is headache and stiffness. 
right? What else? Uh, muscle soreness, joint soreness and stiffness. You know, these are some of the normal, natural side effects. I, I don't even like to say side effects, but the body doing it, its job. Yeah, it's not always bad. It's not always bad. There's no good or bad. Sometimes that's a good thing. And you just allow yourself grace. Like we've talked about that, right? Just because the body's, you're, what did you call it? You're upregulating. You're kind of like taking that next step to reprogram. It's like you're updating your iPhone, right? And uh, <laughs> you're getting you're getting the bugs out. So um, I think sometimes those things are just the the awareness that you're moving in a in a direction. Hey, you guys are getting a biological upgrade. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> yeah, there was a good good tip in the chat here by Janine says when running Healy, you must drink a water drink water and a lot of it. And yeah, I mean hydration. We've talked about it tons on on the, on all of these calls that it, it, it's key. And I know. On this call, and Doc Steve's mentioned it on a bunch on, a, um, on our What's Up Wednesdays as well, hydration, hydration, hydration. Um, and, and a lot of people don't like to drink water. So, but it's, it's definitely important when you're, super important when you're, you're using Healy. So, so I, I believe in a little bit of biohacking um, or mind hacking. So if you don't like to drink water, um, just put a little whiskey in it. No, I'm kidding. No, just um, <laughs> add some electrolytes. Folks, there's some really good, um, electrolyte additives out there. Uh, and it actually adds a little flavor, but look at the ingredients, make sure they're not artificial and a bunch of sugar. But the point is you can actually change it the other way, easy way, add a lemon or a lime, you know, something, uh, some citrus flavor. You can even add a, a, a an orange slice. Um, there's some great recipes where you take a, a, a jug of water, put some cucumber slices in there, some, uh, orange slices in there, gives it a little flavor as well as going to give you a little bit more um, nutrient value. All right. It's really good. Okay, guys. Hey, we are any last ones. We're at the end of our hour. Any last ones, Jake, Freddie? Oh, I think we're, we're pretty good here. <laughs> okay. All right, guys. Well, Hey, thank you very much. Uh, Co-host. Thank you, Beth, for being here, hanging out with me. Um, it's been a fun journey over here in Colorado. Um, I'll see you back live and from Washington next week. Um, don't forget tomorrow, our What's Up Wednesday call. Uh, we also got our frequency uh, uh, frequencies for friends. It's like, who's going to be there? Jake, you want to tee that up? Or frequencies and friends? I'm going to be yeah. there. <laughs> You'll be there, right? <laughs> um, yes, sorry. I, we got I was... Marcus coming to give us some training yes. this week. Yes, yes. You know? So and keep we're, track. And we're Tune not... into the Telegram page, guys. Yeah. And no right. Healy for Beginners and Beyond Thursday. Correct, Jake? Yeah. Not, not this week. We're not going to do one this week. But, yeah, certainly, um, again, as we showed earlier, our Healy Americas page on YouTube has all of our past Healy for Beginners and Beyond. And, um, yeah, looking forward to seeing everyone on, on What's Up Wednesday tomorrow. we got a, a, a great call scheduled. So. So tomorrow's What's Up Wednesday, folks, is um, at 10 a.m. Pacific, 1 p.m. Eastern. All right. Yes. Okay, guys. Thanks so much. Have a great day. We'll see you guys later. Ciao for now, huh? Yep. All right. Good night, everyone. Bye-bye.